Right after school, 16-year-old Kelly Hayes likes to stop by her local park for a light jog and some exercise. Although Kelly loves to jog now, this wasn't always the case. In middle school, I found myself in a position where I was so stressed with all the schoolwork and really all my extracurricular activities that I started to just eat what I could and convenience was really key for me because I would just go to the nearest McDonald's and pick up the fastest thing on the menu just so I could get done with school and eventually just go to bed. While on the go, Kelly often found herself resorting to her nearest fast food restaurants. I just felt really unhealthy and I would go really out of breath after running like a short distance. So I figured that it would really benefit me if I just started paying more attention to what I was eating and paying more attention to my fitness. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, 14% of high school students do not participate in at least 60 minutes of physical activities per day. They also state that healthy eating in childhood is important for proper growth and development and can prevent health problems such as obesity and iron deficiency. Dr. Mary Keith, a local dietitian, has some interesting insight regarding the way we eat. All of our advertising is geared to make us want to eat more, more, more. And what we see mostly in the advertising is not the best food for us. It's usually high in fat, it's high in sugar. It's easily accessible. Here's an example of why it is important to watch what you eat and what you drink. How many of you drink soda? If you are drinking two cans of soda every day for an entire month, this is what it's doing to you. You are consuming five and a half gallons of soda. And if you are consuming five and a half gallons of soda, you're also consuming five and a half pounds of pure sugar. Although it is easy to give in to unhealthy eating habits, Dr. Keith gives some additional alternatives on addressing the bad habit. Really, we should be eating every three or four hours. Most of the studies show that people who, who manage to eat a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, rather than just a breakfast and a supper, do well, do much better. So the trick is, what am I going to snack on? So you can put an apple in your pocket. You can take a couple of cheese, string cheese sticks with you, have some crackers, get a small carton of milk instead of a big bottle of soda. As for Kelly, her new lifestyle has led to a new attitude and positive perspective. So Kelly, are you content with the changes that you have made in your life so far? Yes, I'm very content because I have so much more energy now and so much more confidence that I feel like I have the ability to do things that I wouldn't have even thought of a year ago. For other teenagers that may be in your same shoes, what other advice would you have for them? I would say to never give up because you may make a mistake, but we're human, so it happens all the time. I would say the hardest part is the beginning, but once you get past that, it just gets easier and easier, and you'll never look back and regret it. This is Pia reporting for From the Core.